decided to create this video because I'm getting a lot of compliments from people at the gym that I've been going to for the past year or so. Some of you may know my problem with my old gyms. I have a couple videos explaining that. Um, I left my old gym do some unethical business practices and they also kicked me out because a lot of people were complimenting me uh, about my body and they were asking me almost the same questions that I'm getting at this new gym. Unlike the old gym where I actually work out with some of the members when they know that I will be working um, in certain body parts that they want to improve on themselves. And this gym, I don't even want to lift a darn weight with anyone other than one person who was at the old gym with me. I do not want to be falsely accused again. I'm staying away from silly situation. I have too much to deal with. So anyway, couple people at the new gym has been asking me tons of questions about my back and shoulders. I've decided to take some clips from my old videos to show, to create this video and show them um, what I do for my shoulders. It's just one of several other exercises that I've done, for, I've done for my shoulders. The pictures of my back is the most recent pictures that I have um, about me. Uh, you can judge for yourself. I don't sit around admiring my body. <laughs> my boys <laughs> are keeping me busy enough. So first, what I normally do for any upper workout is to warm up. I always use the cable um, to uh, warm up my rotator cuff. Uh, very rarely I use dumbbell to do that unless the cable is being used. The weight on the cable is very light. I believe it is about 7.2 or 7 point something. It's an odd number. I try to go on all direction or all plane of motion. There's sagittal, frontal, and transverse, or another word, uh, side, front, and rotation. So I do all those movements with the cable. The reason I like to use the cable is that the resistance is the same throughout your range of motion. You move it up, whatever direction it is, is the same resistance you're getting with the cable. So that's why I like to use the cable to do my uh, warm up. Um, and pretty much most of my exercises too. Once I'm done with warm up, I usually set up my workout area. I will gather all of the necessary weights that I plan on using so that I don't have um, to, you know, I don't waste time looking or walking around to get the weights. I have them all in, the, in one spot so when I'm ready to use them, I just grab it and do it. And usually I do that when the gym is not too packed. When there's a lot of people, it's very hard to use all those weights to do your exercise. So you have to keep that in mind. One thing you have to understand is that every movement requires a different amount of weight. For this shoulder exercise, I needed a weight that is challenging enough, but not too heavy. Uh, I will not be able to do the proper movement or do the movement correctly if I use a heavy weight. For this shoulder exercise, uh, a 7.5 pound or a 5 pound is sufficient enough for me. The 7.5 pound was taken at the time. Therefore, I use the 5 pound. So that's, that's the reason I use the 5 pound. Usually I do it with 7.5. Next, I put the bench at a 45 degree angle. Then I grab the 5 pound dumbbell. I position myself on the bench correctly with the weight. I keep my core tight, which is my glutes and my abdominal. I take a deep breath. Then I pull the word towards my shoulder, then push it in front of my head. Now, what's going to happen here is that you will be uh, trying to maintain the weight in that plane of motion while gravity is trying to push the weight down. Your job is to prevent the weight from going down while you are doing pretty much your shoulder presses at a 45 degree angle. This is the reason why you don't need a heavy weight to do this movement. Gravity is, is challenging enough 
for you to do the movement. So you don't need a heavy weight to do this exercise. You do as much rep repetitions as you can. And that is pretty much it. Now, if you still have some energy in you after you did the shoulder presses in this manner, you can switch right, right afterward and do this, this exercise that I call around the world. Again, the same 45 degree angle where the bench is, you take a weight that is not too light or too heavy. A weight that is somewhat challenging enough. Same thing as the first uh, exercise. Your starting position is having the weight in front of you. For now, use a grip that you feel comfortable. There are a couple different grips. Neutral, pronated, and supinated. Once you are comfortable with one particular grip, you can always switch to any of the uh, grips to challenge yourself. For now, use a grip that you feel comfortable to be able to do the movement correctly. Once you have the dumbbell in front of you while you're at a 45 degree and a prone position that's being on your stomach, slowly move the weight from in front of you to the side of you. It's almost like you are doing raises you know, the W's, the Y's, the I's, you know. But here, you don't bring the weight down at all to switch to different type of raises. You maintain the same upward position, that is the challenge, while going in a circular motion. You do a couple repetition, and that's it. I hope I explain myself clearly, and I hope you like the video. So now, I'm gonna show you how I did this exercise without stopping and showing you um, how I switch from one to the other. I actually did several other exercises. I just cut these two exercises just to show you guys how I did them. So here's the video without the cutting in between. Thanks for watching.
Thank you for watching. Subscribe, like, and share.